but yeah, the the whole feeling of knowing he was gonna die, I've talked about this with like Mo Prem. Right. Me and Mo Prem had a real deep conversations about this. When you look at right how many times Tupac talked about death in his songs. It's just a shame we lost him so early, but I think in the spiritual realm, his inner clock, he knew he was gonna go early. I, I'd heard that. I'd heard that before. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd heard that he had this sort of drive in the studio where like, I gotta hurry up and get these songs out because I don't have a lot of time. I gotta hurry up. Like, yep. you know, I heard he would get angry at like producers and other rappers if they took too long, because yep. he had this urgency about yep. him. Yep, he had to express himself. He had to get get it out. He had to get it out. Yep, that's real. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some people told me like they didn't really see that, but hearing it from you really mm -hmm. confirms that. Yeah, they. Yeah. If you listen through his music, you'll see through his albums. You'll see there's a constant death chant. It's always talking about death. Don't forget you could die. You could die. I could die. We could die. I'm gonna die. Die. Wanna die? Die. 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 Death. Death. Die. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think that's because um, cause Pac would have dreams too. He would, you know, he would wake up screaming and shit. Really? Mm -hmm. So so, so he, he was, he felt he was gonna die soon. Yeah. I th uh, he didn't think he was going to make it. I mean, a lot of youth at that time as well felt the same way, that we didn't feel we was going to make it to 21, 23. We didn't, you know. He didn't think he was going to make it to 21. And you know what's crazy, Vlad? My mom told me a long time ago. She said, watch what you say. She said, your tongue is a sword, and what comes out of your mouth will come to pass. So make sure you speak good things out of your mouth. That's why in my music, I just talk about balling and, and, and balling and balling. Because, dude, soon as he started talking about it, it came. Same with Biggie. Biggie told him he was ready to die. It came. I hear these youngsters rapping all the time. Soon as they start rapping about death, soon as, dude, it will come. Your mouth is, dude, it's a, it's a weapon. Your tongue is a sword, man. Say good shit. Because yeah. whatever you let come out of there, buddy, will happen to you. I do believe that. Yeah. And the other thing I heard was Tupac's, you know, you talked about how quickly he was just like, you got your first? No, okay, you're, you're off. Next. Right. Like the the urgency I, I had heard about, you know, people felt that Pac knew he was going to go soon and he needed to hurry up and get this music out as quickly as possible. Right. Did you get that feeling being around him? Well, you know what? He never shared that with me. Cause like, it's funny, the relationship me and him had, I was like, big bro. Cause you gotta remember, I was Richie Rich. I was the nigga in Oakland who was balling, wearing the Rolexes. When I met Pac, he used to have like the little thin little Nefertiti jewel foldable, you know, the, I used to call them foil pieces. Cause you could <laughs> grab that shit and do like this. <laughs> and I remember telling him, get a Rolex. He's like, I don't want no mother Rolex. And he just had all these different rings and and then once he got his bag together, pulled up mm -hmm. on me, had him a nice presidential. I said, I thought you didn't want one of them. He said, no, I was listening, I was listening. <laughs> so around me, and I remember Afeni, rest in peace, telling me, she said, whenever you hear, he's, you know, he's pure, like he's, so sometimes he he can get off and, you know, get, get real, real electric with it. He didn't been like that with me too. But I think with me, maybe he didn't want to share that with me, because I heard shit. His music, and I talk to dads about certain recording sessions and songs, and and I can hear like pieces of him that I've never seen, and I figured I I knew him pretty goddamn good, you know what I mean? But I could hear like in the music so that he was definitely feeling something, so that would that would make sense because me and Pac's relationship has always been me and Pac's relationship. Like when he died, I man, there was so many people wanted interviews and they tell us a Pac story, and I never. I never would do it because that my thing with him wasn't that, you know, it wasn't to, to add to my thing. But I could believe that, that he was in a rush to get it done. Like musically, he was in a rush because he, like you, now it makes sense. I need to get this shit done before, you know, and maybe he was feeling that because you can hear it in the songs. He's saying he's feeling, seeing demons and hearing and, and blah, blah, blah. 
Well, I mean, his last video was, I ain't mad at you. Right. He's in heaven. Right. He's dead. Right. His last album, Machiavelli, he's on a cross with a bullet coming right. at him. And uh, then on my album, uh, he on my Def Jam album, Season Veteran, he we did and Change. Right. I was about and to. On, on and Change, he'd been shot. I've been shot and murdered. Can't tell you how it happened, word for word, but best believe that gonna get what they deserve in the same way. God bless my brain, cause gang pays, getting cash and that's for days, cause n change. That's what he say. He said, I've been shot and murdered. Can't huh. tell you how it happened, word for word. Yeah, and that song came out after he died. Yeah. Yeah. And he also dissed Biggie. Oh my hey, you know uh, yeah. what? He said uh and I asked picture him, me rolling, Piggy Smalls got his eyes, eyes swollen. swollen. And you yeah. know what? And I asked him, I'm like, God damn bro, because he was beefing <laughs> with Big, but he hadn't done hit him up. Or oh, this in, before I hit him yeah, up. We, we, oh, okay. we recorded this before all of that. I was like, "Damn, you just jump on my sh just." <laughs> you put me in the middle of this now. Yeah, but you, yeah, <laughs> but you know, hey, it's, it is what it See, is. You just let him run with it.